today is the day we talk about season three of Fortnite that is right around the corner and we have some brand new leaked information. So of course, if you guys love the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button because only 10% of you guys are subscribed. So subscribe right now and let's waste no more time. In today's video, we're talking about all the amazing things that we talked about yesterday, plus talking about the brand new Party Royale LTM and so much more. So first things first, if you guys didn't know, there's a brand new shotgun coming soon that's been right in our game this entire time. That's right. Yesterday, we talked about Tilted Towers and the possible return of the lovely Tilted Towers. Yeah, that's Tilted Towers in the background gameplay. Now, but besides that, the new shotgun is on the screen right now. It's literally been here the whole time. We didn't even know it was there. It's been here since day one. If you're the top left of your battle pass and click on the little section for the agents and then go into Sky's room or Midas's room, you guys will see in the background there are shotguns. Now, these shotguns are shotguns we don't currently have in the game. And the question is, do we really need a new shotgun in Fortnite? But it's possible. In season three, there's a lot of things happening that we are, can look forward to. And today, Fortnite recently released some teasers for the upcoming season. Now, even though we have the Party Royale mode, these new teasers look very, very weird and honestly don't really make sense. So let's jump into what they mean and what they possibly could mean. Now, shown on screen right now are the posters that are in the game. Now, these posters are very confusing because as you guys can tell, all three of them are water themed. So let's start off with the first one, the Meowsicles, flexing those big arms. And as you guys can see, he currently has water buoys on his arm. And on top of that, he's currently standing in water, what it looks like to be a bathing suit and of course, on the bottom left, we have an umbrella that's on fire. Now, we don't really know what this umbrella means, but it might hint to a hot zone or a zone that your umbrella won't work because it might just catch fire. Now, there's been a theory that's been circulating for a long time, and I discussed this in the past, about the potential possibility that our map might flood. Now, that sounds a little crazy, but recently, Fortnite released a brand new map. That's right. In the party mode LTM, we have a brand new map. It's the Papaya map. Now, this map is a very different map than you and I may be used to, and it's definitely not the Battle Royale map, but it is a cool new map that we can play cool new challenges, and we'll be doing that later on in the video if you haven't seen it just yet. But right now, we're talking about all the unreleased stuff and all the leaked stuff that you can look forward to for Season 3. Now, like I mentioned, Season 3 is right around the corner, and if you guys have not heard, there is some really suspicious things happening in the agency, and for a while now, I've been talking about the potential fact that the agency might blow up due to a doomsday device. In yesterday's video, we talked about it, and of course, we looked at what the map would look like if it reverted back to a season zero through season three map, the old map with the return of Tilted Towers. But in today's video, we're specifically focusing on the fact that our whole map might flood. Why? Why do we think that? Well, if you guys look back at those posters, you guys will see that not only is the Meowsicles flexing his arms and looks super cool, but there's also a house on a life raft above water. And if you look at the bottom of that life raft, you'll see there's a fence, a white picket fence, meaning this house used to be on that ground where the white picket fence is, but now it's floating in the water. So that's a little weird. And on top of that, there's also another umbrella on the bottom left with fire. Now you may be wondering, Garrett, what does a fire even mean? Well, that's where it gets a little complicated and I have to really jump into it because, well, Fortnite always does this thing. And what they do is they leak little things and teasers so that everyone in the community can get excited. And one of those things that is recently just leaked is the fact that there might be a potential that fire may be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Yeah, that's right. So right now, there is no fire in the game. There is no way that builds just deteriorate over time due to uh, existing damage. So an example, if you go to a wall with a pickaxe and break it, it just breaks. But there's nothing in the game that like you can light something on fire and then that will break it over time. But there's speculation right now that there will be fire in the newest Fortnite Battle Royale season. Now, if you guys didn't know, Fortnite recently announced that they're gonna be having a brand new engine in their Fortnite game. And people are speculating that, hey, maybe that means that fire is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale for overall damage and things that just deteriorate over time. Instead of you just slashing something down and just break, it actually breaks into different chunks. Now, as cool as that would be, it doesn't really fit right now to what everyone else is saying because now we have sharks. That's right. There is a shark on the screen right now in the newest league. Now, this shark is massive. Literally the biggest shark you could ever find probably in your life. Just look how big his mouth is. Now, with that said, this shark is speculated to be tameable in the next season where you can ride sharks as a vehicle to get from point A to point B. Now, I know that sounds crazy. I know that how that sounds, but as you guys know, we do have a glider in game that is a shark glider, and people are speculating that you'll be able to ride sharks in Fortnite in the newest season, because guess what? Like the title and thumbnail says, Aquaman is coming to Fortnite. I know, it sounds crazy, but it does sort of make sense. As you guys know, Fortnite recently teamed up with Marvel to showcase Deadpool in the last season. Well, I guess DC Comics also wants to get in on the action, and they already did a Batman and... Uh, 
uh, Catwoman skin. So who else can they put a part of their big old adventure in season three? Aquaman. And guess who Aquaman talks to? Fish. Not only fish, but sharks as well. So literally all ocean life, Aquaman can talk to. So that's why we believe Aquaman is also coming to season three. So let's wrap this up. Where are we at? What does this look like? Does this make any sense? Season three, we're going to have an Aquaman skin. Not only that, he's probably going to come out just like the Deadpool skin did. And it's going to be freaking awesome with challenges and cool things to do and pickaxes and new things. It's just going to be super fun. Then we're probably going to have a new map or some kind of flooding that happens where the agency gets flooded due to doomsday device. The vaults all around the agency will open up. And then lastly, of course, we have all the crazy things that come with it. Boats, uh, shark riding, and of course, a brand new shotgun that's literally been in the game this whole time. We've just never seen it. So with all that said, let me know what you guys think of the new season right around the corner. And let's go check out the Party Royale new map because it's pretty epic from what I hear. Holy! If you guys haven't seen this place, it is crazy. And look at the map. So you can go to the different locations and do these challenges that are all throughout this place. And oh, what? Burgers? No way. You can just throw burgers at people. This is cool. So pretty much, this is what the future of Fortnite looks like. They want to keep doing the Battle Royale stuff, but they also want to do more. And what's crazy is this actually will probably exist in real life one day. Just saying. They might they might make it an amusement park out of Fortnite. Be on the lookout for that one day. And of course, you can change your appearance. You can come in here and change what you want to look like. If you want to look like Peely, you can. You can just change whatever you want. These new phone booths allow you to change into whatever you want to look like. People are just having fun. They're just hanging out. Like, look at this guy over here just hanging out. Holy, look at this. It's like a concert. Bro, what the heck? I'm telling you, dude. This is the future of Fortnite, and it's crazy. What? Insane. This is so cool. It's all new music, by the way. Crazy, bro. Absolutely insane. So, as you guys can see, this map is just the beginning. Don't be surprised in the next season, we're gonna have crazy new LTMs, like infected zombies and more. Fortnite knows what they're doing. They're gonna take over, and they're... don't be surprised if they also come out with their own version of, like, Minecraft. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be really sick. The future is really bright for Fortnite, and hopefully you guys all look forward to it. If you guys do, be sure to drop a like if you're new right here. Click that subscribe button and click right here to watch the next video as this video is coming to an end. Click here. Go watch the next video. Big thank you to all of you guys that watch at home every single day. I love you guys. Bye!